My wife said she feels strong limerence towards a company worker, can't stop fantasizing about him, and she hates herself for it. I feel betrayed is my marriage over. My wife, 30, and I have been happily, at least me, married for five years. We dated for four years before marriage, and it was a very exciting time. Basically, we had a very active bedroom life and enjoyed each other's company so much. We were best friends and crazy in love, at least that's what I experienced. The last two years of marriage were tough. Trying and failing to have a baby, two consecutive miscarriages and a loss of a loved one, all had a toll on our physical and mental health. However, we remained very much close and supported each other. Lately, I sensed my wife was distancing away from me, and she suddenly decided to put on hold, trying to have a baby until she figures herself out. After I insisted on answers I'm part of the baby project, she admitted to have lost sexual interest and attraction to me since at least a year, and she have often forced herself to have sleep with me for the sake of baby. She was terrified of saying anything on her own, and she's been seen a therapist without me knowing. After several nights of constructive conversations where I recommended starting couple therapy, she said that what made things worse for her is a strong limerence she has been feeling towards a new company worker, who started four months ago, and she is unable to stop fantasizing about him. She swears that she has been trying to avoid him, but to no avail. I know there is no affair, because she always comes early from work, and we stay together on holidays and weekends. But I have this nagging feeling that my marriage might be over and no couple's therapy can save it. I am heartbroken and feel betrayed. Relevant comments. Doesn't mean the company worker felt the same. Go try therapy all the same. Exhaust all options before calling it quit. Marriage is a huge commitment, not something to simply throw away when met with adversity. You both recognize the problem, so why not try to fix it? Ope, part of me wants to believe this is possible, but another more nagging part of me says that I'm fooling myself with wishful thinking. I heard Limeran stays for years. How can I live with her until she forgets about him? I still have some self-dignity, give or take. Comment. The fact she seems to recognize it as limerence tells me that she's probably being betrayed by her own brain and is likely frustrated as well. I don't think your marriage is over. I just think you've hit a rougher patch in the rough patch. Good for her to recognize that bringing a baby into the situation was not a good idea. Good for you for pushing for answers so you can begin to work on the problem as a team, assuming that's what you want. OP. I want to work on it, I really do, and I might as well do it. I'm just preparing myself for the worst and I don't want to be fooling myself with wishful thinking lest I get hurt again. Update. We've been talking a lot openly and constructively with many emotions involved. She still says she does not know if she wants to end the marriage and she hasn't made her mind up, but it is still a possibility. She is afraid of the consequences and potential regret afterwards. She often asks me if I'm willing to live with someone like her, who doesn't love me as I love them. And if I want to live a marriage without physical intimacy. She asks if I'm willing to miss out on life, physical intimacy, and love just because of her. She thinks she doesn't have the energy to see couples counseling, and she isn't totally convinced that it will help. She refuses to change jobs, at least for the foreseeable future. I know she has invested a lot in it, and she is one of the most devoted employees there, with a bright future with the company. Also, she feels like her company workers and boss are her second family, and it would be extremely difficult for her to quit. She firmly insists that nothing is going on between her and the company worker, no texting, no flirting, no one-on-one -on -one meetings and very minimal contact only when other employees are around. She believes that even if we divorce, there is not even a slight chance for a viable relationship with the company worker. She says the latter also chose to distance himself and apologize to her on his unprofessional behavior. She said she wants space again, without questions from me or pressure for a while. We decided to take time away from each other, with no contact unless necessary, to reflect and heal a bit for one week. I'm at home and she is staying with her relatives who live nearby. From my perspective, things are still going in the direction of divorce, which I don't wish to happen at least until we try to shake things up and see couples counseling. If it doesn't work after that, then I will seek divorce. But I don't want to live my life thinking that we could have done something. Op made another post. My wife is limerent to a company worker. She blames me. I have posted on other subs about my marriage and how it is falling apart after my wife confessed about being limerent to a company worker and having intense feelings towards him. She has been unhappy in our marriage for at least a year. We have been together for nine years, married for five years. Although she says I'm a good and decent husband and I know I am, she blames me for what happened. I love her so much and want nothing more than for her to be happy.
I have been loving, caring, romantic, and providing on all scales, financial, social, emotional, and sexual. At least that's what I would like to believe, and I have a lot of evidence to support it. I'm not saying her feelings are not valid, they are. I have many flaws, but who is perfect? I can be annoying, clumsy, and passive at times. I can be forgetful and irresponsible about some stuff, but who isn't? I'm working on myself to change. She too has a lot of flaws that make me go nuts. But I have never thought about hooking up, cheating, or befriending women I find attractive. She was and still is the only woman I have been with for nine years. In my eyes, she is the sexiest woman in the world. And I tell her that and I behave as such. I have always supported her dreams and tried my best to fulfill her wishes. She makes me feel like the luckiest man in the world. She knows all that and acknowledges it. I've put myself second to her and have even rejected high-paying job offers that required constant traveling and moving towns to start a family with her. I wanted that. I prefer family to work. We have no kids yet. We had a tough 2023 with two consecutive miscarriages and fertility issues. She has felt empty, invisible, and worthless for many, many years, she says, even before we got together. Something that I did not understand until she was diagnosed with depression. She also feels our marriage had many problems and made her unhappy. I now know that it had a major communication problem. She tends to avoid conflict as much as possible with everyone, not just me, and has never spoken to me about any issues until she exploded now. She never communicated her unmet emotional needs, and she doesn't know what they are. When I ask her about her emotional and desires and fantasies, she always replies, You are my favorite fantasy. Obviously, I wasn't. This new co-worker came in four months ago and she fell hard for him. No affair is going on and I have solid confirmation. She is limerent for him and her feelings are getting stronger daily. She confessed it. He makes her feel intense emotions, desirable, and somebody when she is around him. She believes he is perfect even though I'm better looking BS. She felt this with me at the beginning of our relationship. But when things have calmed down as they should, she thought we have failed and love has died. She insists of having no intention of leaving me for him, but I wouldn't bet on that. Anyway, she feels super guilty and shameful and blames me for this turmoil and her limerence, and I don't know what to believe or what to do. Final update. After months of drama and misery, where I was caught off guard by my wife when she suddenly put our baby project on pause, I filed for divorce. She does not love me anymore and has been not satisfied with the marriage for the past two years, as she puts it. She finally confessed to having an affair with her co-worker that stretched for a little more than three months, after which it was, paused, so she could figure herself out. She finally said she did not want to work on our marriage because she obsessively wanted to be with the other man and initiate a relationship with him. So that's it. A nine-year relationship, five-year marriage ended in the most horrible way for me. The woman I thought would be my lifelong lover and partner betrayed me and dumped everything we had and might have had together to be with another man. I hope she will be happier. I really do wish her the best. Relevant comment. Oh, I remember you, Op. So wife has been lying about the limerence nonsense all along. It is for the best, it seems. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. OP. Well, yes. Apparently they both liked each other at first sight, so to say. He started approaching her offering some acts of services, like organizing her meetings, bringing her coffee, helping with a dead car battery along with flirting and texting. So she fell for it quite quickly and things escalated from there to an affair. There is some sort of deep obsession from her side. She thinks about him a lot and has been acting like a teenager. Anyways, good luck to them. What drove me a bit crazy is that she genuinely seems to regret what happened and cried a lot about it. Yet she did not want in any way to leave her job nor cut ties with him. Instead, she insisted she wants to pursue this guy further.